adventure in Australia. James class goes to a museum. They learn about Australia. Sandra and Jim are looking at a picture of a koala. Jim asks, Sandra, have you ever been to Australia? She says, no, I haven't. Have you ever been to Australia? Yes, I have, says Jim. I went to Australia with my family last year. Have you ever seen a koala? No, I haven't, says Sandra. Did you see a koala in Australia? Yes, says Jim. I meet Mooney. He's a koala in Australia and he's my friend. I'll tell you about him at lunch. Okay, Jim, says Sandra. Tell me about Mooney. Okay, says Jim, but I have to start at the beginning. Last summer, I went to Australia with my mom and dad. We flew to Sydney. It's a great city, and there was a lot to do there. We went to a museum in Sydney. We went to a lot of good restaurants, too. I ate pavlova. It's a sweet cake that's very popular in Australia. It was delicious. After dinner, I saw a koala under the table. He quietly said, Hello, my name is Mooney. I'm lost. Can you help me get home? Have you ever been to Tasmania? I said, No, I haven't. Deal of that. Mooney said, Yes, I do. Will you help me? We should to go to Melbourne first. Wow, I'm going there with my parents tomorrow, I said. You can come with us. I'm sure we can help you get home. After dinner, I put Mooney in my backpack and we flew to Melbourne. We went to the Princess Theatre to hear music. I asked Mooney, Have you ever been to a concert before? He said, No, I haven't. He went with me, but I had to be very quiet because we didn't want my parents to see him. The music and the concert was wonderful. At night, we took a boat to Tasmania. I was very tired, but Mooney wasn't tired. Koalas don't sleep at night. Mooney ain't leaves, and we talked. I learned a lot of new things about Australia and koalas because he talked about them all night. He said that koalas sit in the trees a lot and they only ate leaves. They move very slowly and they sleep during the day. They have two thumb pumps on each hand and they have fingerprints like we do. In the morning, we got to Tasmania, and Mooney was very happy. I was very tired after the long trip, but I wanted to see Mooney's home. I met Mooney's parents, and I saw his favorite tree. Then I said, I have to go back to Melbourne. Mooney said, Goodbye, Jim. You help me get home. Thank you. Goodbye, Muni, I said. I learned a lot about koalas in Australia. It was fun and interesting to listen to you. Then I took the boat to Melbourne with my parents. Wow, say Sandra. That's a great story, Jam. Um, but it sounds like just a story. Have you really been to Australia? Um, have you really seen a koala? Uh, yes. Why? Asked Jem. Well, I learned something in the museum, says Sandra. Koalas don't live in Tasmania. <laughs> okay, says Jem. Here's what really happened. Jim says, I really have been to Australia and I really have seen a koala. Uh, have you been to Tasmania? Oh, no, I haven't, Jamon says. 
I went to Australia with my parents, and we went to Sydney first. I ate pavlova, but money wasn't at the restaurant. Then I flew to Melbourne with my parents, but money wasn't in my backpack. We went to a concert, but money didn't come with us. After we went to Melbourne, we went to the outback, not Tasmania. <laughs> It's the desert. I saw a koala and I saw a kangaroo. The koala didn't talk, but the kangaroo did. Her name was Sunshine, and she. Jim, please, kangaroos can't talk," said Sandra, and they both laughed.